Hello, everybody, and welcome to Astros. My name is Ashido, or you can call me Ash, and welcome to me and my sleep deprived self as it is 10 minutes till midnight. Yeah, I can't sleep. <laughs> It's, uh, well, then again, I do go to bed pretty late, but it's just one of those days where I'm not tired. Not tired. Hmm. Anyways, uh, I don't know what I'm gonna draw today. Uh, ah, oh, shit. Hang on. <clears throat> oh my goodness, excuse me. I'm already being vulgar. <laughs> Honestly, I'm so tired. <laughs> like, I'm tired, but I'm not, you know? I have already reached maximum state, mass maximum exhaustion. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. It's whatevs. I have no idea what I'm gonna draw. You know what? I, I think I know what I'm gonna draw. Uh, hang on. Let me... Eh, eh. Hold on. I, I hear someone at the door. Hello? <laughs> nah, it's probably... What? Hello? I, I am streaming. I'm good? Okay. How's your night going, by the way? Mine's going <laughs> as good as anything. I guess. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm like making weird noises. That's just how like uh, tired I am at the moment. Eh, hang on. Let me. <laughs> uh, hang on. I I know an animal I want to look. I want to draw, but I gotta uh. I gotta remember exactly what it looked like. Hang on. You like jazz? <laughs> I don't know, I just threw on some random jazz. Thought it'd be fitting since that it's autumn now. Halloween is almost here. That's a nice. You know what's funny is that I am um I'm trying to do like Inktober. Or at least something similar to Inktober. Basically, this thing that I'm doing is called uh, Monster Sona Month. And uh, it, it's pretty cool. I like it. I've been drawing like a lot of monsters recently. It's pretty cool. I like drawing monsters. There are a few monsters on my DeviantArt page right now. I like, I like them. The one that I'm really proud of is uh, the little spider character that I drew. He, he, he a pretty boy. He a pretty, pretty boy. Hang on. Me. Me.
Wait, hang on. No, no, no. I had it right. It was this way. It was more like that. There we go. Ah, darn it. Ah, close enough. If only my phone would make sure the image would just stay open. Hang on. Let me put this a little lower. There we go. Sorry if I was a little slow starting off. I uh, was trying to get the picture to show up for me. But clearly he did not want to show up. <laughs> Funny that, huh? Hang on, I know what to, how to fix this. There we go. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just being a dork right now.
Oh my gosh, he looks so doopy. I, I love him. I love him already. <laughs> oh my god. I'm trying here. I'm trying. I'm not very good at this. So. I see where the where it's happening. Okay, hang on. Thank you. 
<laughs> I don't know why I love him already. I don't know why I love him so much. <laughs> I think it's just the aspect of how goofy he is. I don't know why I love him already so much. <laughs> so goofy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, hang on. Let me see how. <laughs> okay, so okay, I see how he is. Let me do it in a separate layer so I don't mess this up entirely, you know? <laughs> he looks concerned. Oh, I am born. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What do you guys think he is? I'll give you a quick guess before before I continue. Oh! <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why I love him so much. Alright, hang on. Let me get, alright. Let me get started on him. Maybe and now. Oh, nope. I drew them too far. Oh! <laughs> oh no, they're, they're, um... I gotta draw them wider. Uh, I see. Okay. Hang on. Like so. Okay. Good. Like I said, I don't know why <laughs> he's such a goober. Oh, damn it. My hand kind of skipped. Not very good at antlers, but darn it, I try. I 
come on. Oh, that's part of the head. Oh, oops. Hang on. There we go. He is almost. There we go. <laughs> I don't know what's up with him. I really don't. Hang on. Before I continue any further. <laughs> there we go. I'm concerned. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Did I do something wrong? Oh no. Oh no. And it's just like, no worries, buddy. You're okay. You're okay. You're good. Oh, oh, are you sure? Oh. like maybe trying to grab water by a stream And then the color him. So he's like a dark brown. Okay. Oh my gosh, I know what I forgot. No. He's used. There we go. There we go. 
girl. There we go. Hey. Don't worry, baby, you're gonna look great. No worries, there's a method to my madness. Come on, then. 
work with me. You know what the craziest video I watched today was? Um, I was on my way home from Houston, and I decided, and I don't know what brought this up, but I remember that there was some kind of parasite that took over, like, snails or slugs, and I decided to be ballsy and actually look it up. And, um, I was thoroughly disgusted and fascinated at the same time. So basically, for those of you who don't know, like, what happens, uh, to slugs with this parasite, basically it's like a worm that enter- like, that the slug or the snail eats, and the worm, like, gets in there. Basically, it takes over the poor slug's eye stalks. Like, in a way, it's taking over its brain and takes full control of its body. And it's really gross, but at the same time fascinating to watch it. Because the 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 parasite is like inside the snail's eye stalk. And uh <laughs> the worm, you could just see the worm moving inside, wriggling, and it's gross. But it's fascinating, too, that such a tiny thing could, could do this, you know? And apparently what it does is that while it's, like, controlling the slug or the snail, it, um, it basically, like, flashes these disgustingly bright colors, and, um, it, it attracts birds. And basically the bird, um, eats it. Eats the, the snail and with the worm inside. And uh, basically, a little bit later, the bird poops it out. And uh, it basically makes more babies inside. Yeah, the worm makes more babies inside the bird. The bird poops the babies. And that's basically. Um, Snails eat that. Snails and slugs will, uh, eat that. And then they get infested with the parasite. And I was like, oh, that's gross. But fascinating at the same time how disgusting Mother Nature is. It was like, I don't know, it's disgustingly intriguing at how Mother Nature is both cruel, but at the same time, very, uh, very wondrous. I don't know. We live on Earth where the beauty exists, but at the same time, there are things that will want to kill you. And I don't know. I, I love it. <laughs> Call me a cynical person, if you will. I I love that about the world we live in. We live in a cynical, disgusting world. And I love it. I 
I don't know. I'm I'm weird that way, I guess. But at the same time, that kind of gave me, like, a story idea. Like, as disgusting as that was, I, I had a story idea from it. What is it? I'm not gonna say. Uh, that'll be explained in a uh, drawing for later. Because I want to save that for a surprise. Uh -huh -huh. I don't know. <laughs> He's looking funky fresh. He's looking good. And you know, it, it just made me realize something, that we live in a world that there are things that could actually, like that, could very much get into our bodies. Like the tapeworm and other gross bugs and I don't know. Like I said, this is just a stream of me randomly gibbering and I'm talking about parasites. This is such a lovely stream. For those of you who are like into that sort of like sort of thing, uh, great. For those of you who are not, I'm really sorry to get to hear me talk about how fascinatingly disgusted I am at uh <laughs> at, at the world we live in. I don't know, the world is cruel, but at the same time, it's beautiful in a way. It's beautifully cruel is what I'm saying. A beautiful, cruel world. And I love it. But at the same time, I hate it. I don't know why. But yeah, for those of you who are, like, sensitive stomachs and listening to me talk about this, uh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> and also sorry for the, like, large swaths of silence. I'm exhausted. But this is putting me to sleep, though, so it's doing something. Also, there's a freaking fly. I am going to destroy you. Go away. Oh my god. <laughs> This fly made me mess up. No. Fly, you have ruined me. Fly, you disappoint me. Just like Megatron has disappointed me. I'm not a deceptive enough, but damn it. <laughs> I mean, darn it. Ah, I, damn, darn it. I try not to curse on this show. <laughs> Isn't he cute? I don't know why. I love him. Ha <laughs> ha 
Hang on. There we go. Nesting. 
Uh, yeah, I guess that's it then. Alright. Well, this took me a lot longer than I thought it would be. Uh, thank you all so much for joining. If you all enjoyed me talking rabble and jabber and all that good nonsense. And you want to see more of what I do, be sure to uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And you could also join me on my Patreon at Ashido underscore YouTube. It'd help a lot. Put some food on my table. Really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow evening. Thank you. Bye-bye.